All right, so it's time for another shoe review. We're gonna review this shoe today, Ultra The One 2.5. So first of all, as I usually do when I do these shoe reviews, I'd like to just first quickly mention why I really like Ultra shoes. There are two main reasons. They have a wide toe box, and that means they fit your foot. Because if you've ever had a look at a foot, it's actually widest around there. Whereas normal shoes, they're pretty sharp, like they have a, they have a pointy front, which is just not anatomically correct. So this allows your toes to splay out and grab the ground and work the way they should, biomechanically speaking. The other reason I like Ultra is because they're all zero drop, which means that there's no drop from heel to toe. It's completely flat. And that again allows you for optimal biomechanics. Uh, instead of having this big thick heel, you're now able to more easily land a bit on your forefoot, midfoot, and that allows for a better stride healthier for your joints and a more efficient running style also so those are the two reasons I really love ultra shoes now let's talk about this shoe in particular uh, the, the the one 2.5 uh, so I've had this shoe for a while by now I must have run about 700 kilometers in this shoe and it's definitely about time to get a new pair first of all the first thing you notice with this shoe is that it's so light I mean this is a light shoe it's super light it's I don't remember exactly how many grams right now, but it's light. The upper material here is really soft. It's very comfortable. When you're wearing them, you feel like, almost like you're not wearing shoes. It's like super comfortable, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, and in terms of cushioning, they have a medium amount. It's, it's, it's decent, but it's not, it's not super minimal, but it's, not, it's certainly not maximal either. Uh, so it's a good road shoe. Uh, I've used this shoe. I, I use this shoe on the road pretty much exclusively. When I go on the trail, I might use other shoes like the Superior, which I've reviewed here, uh, and other sh and the Lone uh, Peak as well. But uh, when I'm heading out on the road, I just want something light and something with a little bit of cushioning, and this is this is perfect. So that's certainly a pro that it's light and the cushioning is good. Let's talk about one of the cons of this shoe, and it's a it's kind of a big one. This, the sole has these gaps, right? And that's probably to save weight, and that's a good idea. But rocks get stuck in there all the time. <laughs> so every time I'm out running, I have to sometimes just stop and take some rocks out because it's just too annoying to have the rocks there. So that's a big problem. I don't know how they would solve that uh, without making it heavier. Uh, so anyway, that's, that's definitely a con, but it's not a big deal, obviously. Uh, the material is also not very, it doesn't last like super long. It's pretty worn down now, but again, I've run almost 700 kilometers in it, so that's to be expected. Thinking about it like that, it's actually quite durable. Um, the upper though, not so durable. You can see here, um, there's a hole here. Uh, and also it's very, on the other side here. Both shoes, they have this, this weakness around here and actually that's happens to my superior shoes as well so it seems possibly that uh, at least in this shoe possibly other models from ultra there's a there's a weakness in the lining here on the side so that's also a negative as well but but then again bear in mind though that you know you should change your shoes every five six seven eight nine hundred kilometers there's different opinions out there and this shoe has pretty much done its job and it's still working even, even though there's a hole there it's still working so in a sense it's not a big problem I'm super happy about them um, the cons are not important uh, and the pros are huge uh, they are lightweight very comfortable and good to run on on the road I don't have tons of experience with different shoes so I can't really say uh, whether this is normal or not but the the, the outer sole here it's it's really soft so uh, it actually gives you a little bit of a uneven um, ground contact, so to speak. I don't know, like, I mean, for, for sure you want cushioning when you're heading out on the road, but then again you also want to have control, and sometimes I'm thinking these, this sole is a little bit too soft. Um, maybe, I don't know. There's some reinforcements here on the places uh, of the sole where most people uh, touch the ground. Um, 
I tend to wear down my shoes more here on the outside, uh, but certainly there as well. So summing up, I guess, uh, if you're interested in a super light uh, pair of shoes, super comfortable, good for the road, uh, even good for everyday use if you want, uh, this is definitely a good option. They do kind of look like bowling shoes though, a little bit. <laughs> the design could probably be a little bit cooler, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the white toe box, the zero drop, uh, ultra, really, you know, it's got it all pretty much. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the description. It's gonna be an affiliate link. So if you're if you're keen on like buying them, you can click the link and and buy the shoes through the link. We'll get a little bit of a commission for sending you there, but the price remains the same for you. So it's 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 really a win-win situation. If you are buying ultra shoes, you should typically go up a little bit in size they're a little bit small for their size so i'm usually wearing like 46 46 and a half but with ultra i have to wear 47. also worth mentioning they are vegan you know it's synthetic leather uh some places so uh that, that's a good thing i, I wouldn't buy non-vegan shoes and so that's it uh check out my other shoe reviews by going to the playlist for shoe reviews <laughs> And I hope you're having a good day. Let me know in the comments what shoes you're running in, if you've tried these shoes maybe, what you think about them. I'd love to hear your opinions. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up on gear, shoes, training, all kinds of things related to running. Thanks for watching. See you around.